Excuse me. Is the seat taken? Well then. A uh, whiskey on the rocks for me, thanks. And for my friend here? <laughs> to each their own. I'll take that whiskey then. Uh, tell me if you change your mind. Hmm. Uh, so, pardon the cliché, but what's a distinguished individual like yourself doing in a place like this? No? Well, pardon me for assuming then. To be honest, I thought you looked a little too fine to be one of the usual clientele here. In a crowd of bounty hunters, hitchhikers, gang members, simple pickpockets, and the like, let's just say that you stand out. I assume there's some sort of story behind that. I see. You're not too out of place in that regard, then. Most folks who pass by through here have stories to tell. <laughs> you want to know about me? I'm just a drifter passing through. But yeah, I had some tall tales of my own once upon a time. Nah, well, it's hardly worth telling them now. I'm a bit retired from being a desperate scoundrel, you see. Nowadays, I'm just trying to get by, like any other poor soul this side of the galaxy. Ah, there's my drink. <laughs> what do I mean by desperate scoundrel? Seems you're getting interested in my sorry past. It's a shame. You'd probably have a lot more fun with some whiskey. Or wine, whichever you prefer. Since you're so curious, though, let me just say I've had my fair share of adventure. Including, but not limited to, bartending in the Star Cities, a wild partnership with the sentient clock on Mars, and a stint as a mercenary in No Man's Land. Intergalactic services, customer satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> I don't look like the type. To do what? Bartend or murder for a living? <laughs> well, looks can be deceiving. I mean, I've been a bad girl. I could still be one if I wanted to. But I learned the hard way that those moral lessons they preach at you when you're a kid aren't all lies. Being bad doesn't pay half as well as you'd like it to. And I gotta put dinner on the table somehow, hmm? Hmm? Oh, the dinner is for myself. If I had any kind of family to look after, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Like I said, I'm a drifter. I go wherever the money trail takes me. But that's not really sustainable for most relationships, so I stay on the move, and I do it alone, generally. It's not half bad. And what about you? I don't mean to pry, but a story for a story sounds about fair to me. And from the looks of it, you've got one hell of a tale hidden behind that stubborn mouth. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh. So, you followed this lover of yours all the way from your blue blood old money home to one of the seediest parts of the galaxy because you knew your family wouldn't approve? And you're waiting for them here, while they sort out their business. You say you've been in this spot for two hours now? No word from them? Whew, you, these are dangerous parts, you know. I wasn't kidding when I said you stick out like a sore thumb. Everybody else in this bar is probably on the wrong side of the law, one way or another. If your sweetheart's dealing with that kind of business, you might want to watch your back. You're not budging? Seems like you're romantic at heart for you to act all so... cool and standoffish. Do I think you're wrong to wait? I couldn't say. Perhaps it's a little foolish, but then again, love makes fools of us all. I've known people I could have waited for. It's just that most of them bit off a bit more than they could chew, and, well, let's just say they're not around anymore. It happens in that line of work. Sorry for my loss. <laughs> Thank you. It's all water under the bridge now. W well, I get nostalgic sometimes. But, like I said, I'm a drifter now. I travel light, and that includes memories. It's really not practical to carry them around all the time, you know? A mortal life is to a star's. That's a saying they have around Galaxy 560A. No love or grief is eternal, and it's all dead in the blink of an eye when you compare it to the endlessness of the celestial bodies. In that sense, I suppose you could say we're all drifters in our own ways. Just 
passing through the dive bar of life, if you will, looking for something strong enough to carry us to the next evening. I'm getting a bit philosophical, aren't I? Sorry about that. Must be something in this drink. <laughs> well, anyway, the whiskey's strong, and it seems like we'll both need some luck. So, I propose a toast. To drifters, and traveling light. Would you look at the time? Midnight already. Your lover's running late. Must be real nice for you to put them all in the line for them like this. So... They promise to take you away to a better life? Maybe in the Star Cities? I guess you'll have to board the next ship off the planet if you want to make it there before your folks come knocking. And, and I suppose that's why you're here. That business they're attending to. Tickets for those ships don't come cheap, and you can't have snuck much of your inheritance out of your home when you left. I'll admit, this isn't a pretty place, but it's a quick, dirty way to make a coin when you're in a tight spot. Provided you know who you're bargaining with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I expected as much. You want to be careful who you give that information to. As I said, most of the people here are on the wrong side of the law, but that doesn't mean they're all on the same side either. There's more than one way to be wrong, and your lover's in hot water if they think they're getting away from this planet scot-free. Well, it's been over two hours. More than enough time to sort out any business. Why do you think they aren't back yet? For every single desperate cutthroat in this place, there's an equally desperate drifter willing to turn him into the police for the right price. Hey, calm down! I'm just speculating. They could be fine. Listen, just, just a moment. Sit down. Sit down. Have a sip, if you don't mind. It'll calm your nerves. Do you mind if I ask you something? I've got a little theory I'd like you to confirm. Riddle me this. An ex-crime boss on the run, facing countless charges of murder, several more of assault and battery. They're guilty of resisting arrest, violence against law enforcement, organized crime activity, fraud, one count of kidnapping, and more legal jargon that I can't really be bothered to memorize. Their most recent crime is the possession and trade of illegal substances, particularly the faceless killer weed they're farming on planet 26B nowadays. A bounty of five million promised to whoever brings them in. Does any of that sound familiar? Hmm. Though I suppose the kidnapping charge is technically baseless, considering you went with them willingly. <sighs> like I said, I follow where the money trail leads me, and being bad doesn't pay very well. I'm playing the good guy for a change. Bounty hunters around the galaxy have been fighting tooth and nail to get their hands on your sweetheart for the past couple of months, myself included. Haven't you been watching the news? Uh, uh, me? I haven't done anything, but I'm guessing my partner's caught up to them at this point. <laughs> look, look. If you're gonna go after them, I'm not stopping you, but you gotta listen first. You go now, you either die or you follow them to prison, and... Maybe to the gallows, depending on how deeply you've been involved in their affairs until now. Why do I care? Let's put it this way. I'm playing the good guy, but I'm not a good guy. And I don't play by the rules unless I have to. We established that earlier, didn't we? I'm broke as hell and I need that five million, but I don't need to turn you in to get it. It's true, I came here looking for the target's companion, and it's true that that's why I approached you you don't carry yourself like someone from these parts, you know? Everything from your posture to that wide-eyed expression. It just screams, sweet, pampered darling of the sheltered upper class. But you don't know what you've gotten yourself into with this lover of yours. Like I said, we're all drifters in the end. Do you really want to risk your neck for someone who's digging themselves into an early grave anyway? Hey, wait! Gone just like that. Red, I missed the second target. Probably running your way now. Uh, yeah, I'm going. Be ready just in case. <laughs> Love makes fools of us all, huh? 